children's fates. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is checking the school roof. Moo! Who put this roof on for you? Uh, you did, Mr. Bull. Lovely job. It will last you a lifetime. But it is leaking water. Look, it is going drippity drip. You need a new roof. Oh, dear. Where are we going to get the money for a new school roof? We can do a school fate to get the money. Good idea, Danny. But who would run it? We can. Yes, the children can do it. <laughs> I can do the face painting. I can do the microphone. <laughs> we can have a mummy's and daddy's race. And I can sell balloons. Yes, we will have a children's fate. Hooray! It is the day of the children's fate. All the grown-ups are here. Hello, grown-ups! Danny Dog is in charge of the microphone. Get your money out for the new school roof! Emily Elephant is in charge of the bric-a-brac stall. Roll up! Roll up! All sorts of bits and bobs! What a lot of bric-a-brac, Emily! You will be busy all day selling it. Here is Mr Fox. Mmm! This all looks very interesting. Balloons! Lovely balloons! Would you like a balloon, Madame Gazelle? May I have a red one? How much is it? How much have you got? Oh, of course! We are raising money for the school roof. Look, Madame Gazelle, I've got rid of everything. Wonderful, Emily! How much money have you raised? Money? Did you not get some money for the bits and bobs? I didn't need to. Mr Fox took it away for nothing. <laughs> get your face painted here. Susie Sheep is in charge of the face painting stall. Hello, Susie. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No, I can only do fruit. OK, can I be... A plum! There. Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Pepper. Hello, Mr. Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr. Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs. Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr. Bull and Mrs. Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> It's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh. And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Oh. Fun, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Lots, lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> George's racing car. It is a lovely sunny day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper, George, Daddy and Grandpa are inside watching racing cars on television. <coughs> Come on, car number two. It's neck and neck coming up to the finish. <coughs> what a lot of noise. This is so exciting. Car number two is a must. Ah, that's better. The race was almost finished. 
Switch it back on. Wow. That was an exciting end to a race. I'm so glad I didn't miss the finish. See, it's finished. It's such a lovely day. You should all go outside and play. Yes, Granny Pig. <coughs> so, what are we going to play? George wants to play racing cars. I know. Let's build George a racing car. <laughs> Can you really make a racing car, Daddy? No, but Grandpa Pig can. What? Uh, OK, I'll make a racing car for George. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's shed, where he makes things. What have we got here? Ah, an old pram. No, George isn't a baby, Grandpa. We only need the pram's wheels, Pepper. This bit can be the bonnet. And this can be the seats. What's your favourite number, George? George's favourite number is two. Oh, this racing car will be super fast. Hooray! Don't make it go too fast, Grandpa. George is only little. Don't worry, Pepper. This will be a pedal car, not a motor car. Ah! Next, we need a steering wheel. Last of all, you need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at George's racing car. <laughs> wow! I'll race you. And me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <laughs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? Steady? Go! Yeah. And they're off. Yeah. Come, Come on, George! Yeah. That's the end of lap yeah. one, and George is yeah. in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. Yeah. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> Oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Put the wheel back on. OK, okay chief, chief mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. 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 Go, George, go! Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Pedal faster, George! Come, come on, George! George. Come on, George! George is the winner! Hooray! Well done, George! You're the best racing driver in the whole world! <laughs> and you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too! Yes, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are going on holiday. They are packing their bags. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy and George can take... Dinosaur. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a Big bag for the holiday. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. <coughs> it is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. 
That sounds nice. <laughs> oh, Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. It is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. Whoa! That's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! 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 This is the airport. Goodbye! Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> You can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh! Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> Magic! This is the aeroplane that will take Pepper and her family on holiday. Airplane! Yeah! George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> This is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! <laughs> Look, Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Peppa? It's all cloudy and rainy. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. The Holiday House. Pepper and her family are flying to another country for a holiday. We hope you have enjoyed your flight. Please fasten your seatbelts. This is Captain Emergency speaking. We are about to land in Italy. Oh, Italy. That sounds nice. The aeroplane has landed. Hooray! <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy on the aeroplane. Now we need a car to drive to our holiday house. Here is the place to borrow cars. Hello. Buongiorno. Come posso aiutare una così bella signora? In Italy, people speak Italian. Oh, um, we need a car. Non capisco. Let me handle this. I'm an expert at talking. <clears throat> we need a car. Uovo. Not eggs. A car. Um, no. Not flowers. No. Brim, brim. <laughs> ah, auto. Hey, hey. Brim, brim, beep, beep. Well done, George. <laughs> this bag is heavy. Oh. Are you sure we need everything in here, Mummy Pig? Yes. It's all very important. Are we going to get lost like we always do? <laughs> no, Peppa. The sat-nav will tell us the way. Benvenuto all'auto del futuro. In Italy, the sat-nav talks in Italian. Proseguire sulla... Maybe we don't need the sat-nav. Uh, 
Let's go this way. Remember, Daddy Pig, this is another country. They may drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. It can't be that different. Strada Porco! Driving in Italy is very different to driving at home. Hello! Yes, we're on holiday. Daddy, why are they beeping their horns at us? I expect they're saying hello. Can we say hello back? Of course we can. Hello! Everyone is so friendly here. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family are on their way to their holiday house. Ah, we're almost there. Yes, I can feel myself relaxing already. Teddy! I love Teddy on the aeroplane! Eh? What? We have to go back for Teddy! Uh... Oh, dear. It is a policeman. Hello, officer. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I promise I won't do it again. Good day. I am returning this young bear. He was left on the aeroplane. Oh, thank you. Teddy! Have a lovely holiday. Here we are. Pepper and her family have arrived at their holiday house. <laughs> what have you done? Got in this bag, Mummy Pig. It's all important stuff for our holiday. A lovely plant, our computer, tinned food, hot water bottles, some winter clothes in case it gets a bit chilly, the telephone. Let's ring Granny and Grandpa. <sniffs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Are you sure we're feeding Goldie enough? I'll just feed her a pinch more. Hello? Hello, Granny. Can I speak to Goldie, please? It's Pepper for you. I miss you too, Goldie. <laughs> <sighs> it has been a long day. Now it is time for bed. Good night, my little piggies. <sighs> Pepper and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. Snowy Mountain. It is a lovely snowy day. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have come to the mountains to go skiing. See you all at the top. Come, come on, on, car. car. You, you can, can make, make it. it. Oh. The car cannot drive up the mountain. The snow is too slippery. You have to take the ski lift. <laughs> the ski lift is carrying everyone to the top of Snowy Mountain. Uh, it looks a bit high. Whoa! Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> <laughs> this is really fun. Oh, yes, really fun. <laughs> in the air, in a chair, snow is falling everywhere. Flying high. Chair, flying high and high and high. <laughs> the ski lift has reached the top of Snowy Mountain. <laughs> Daddy is a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> <laughs> skis, skis, get your skis here. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Skis for two grown ups and two children, please. There you go. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is the ski teacher. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, will we ski all the way down the mountain? <laughs> Not today, Danny. I think for now we will stick to the baby slope. The children are learning to ski on a little slope. To start, push off slowly with your sticks. Whee! To stop, point your skis together. <laughs> Skiing is fun. Let's go back up and do it again. Whoa. Whoa. Walking up slopes on skis is not easy. Uh -oh. To go up the slope, you have to walk sideways like a crab. <laughs> Everyone is walking sideways like a crab. 
Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. Hoopla. That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? Ah! All the way down the mountain. My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah! Where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah! Stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Ah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Mummy, did I loop the loop? That was fantastic skiing! Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Ah! Ah! How am I going to stop? <laughs> My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. <laughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup belongs to you. Thank you. My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> going boating. Pepper and her family have come to the lake to go boating. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! What sort of boats do you have, Miss Rabbit? I've got canoes. Ooh, let's have a canoe. Hmm, you have to paddle a canoe. That's hard work. I've got sailing boats. It's a bit tricky to sail a sailing boat. And I've got pedalos. They look nice and relaxing. Yes, they've got a big paddle wheel to make them go. Let's have a pedalo. <laughs> when I ring this bell, it's time to bring the boat back. Enjoy your boat trip. It's not moving. No. How do we start the engine? <laughs> You're the engine, Daddy Pig. You have to pedal. Oh, I see. Off we go, then. It's a bicycle on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Riding in a pedalo on a sunny lake. Daddy is the engine. I hope he doesn't break. <laughs> <laughs> Here are Emily Elephant and her family. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We'd like a canoe, please. Certainly. The elephant family like canoeing. Paddles ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy elephant. elephant. Then let's go. Ahoy there, Miss Rabbit. It is Danny Dog and his dad, Captain Dog. We'd like a boat, please. Certainly. I have canoes, sailing boats or pedalos. I didn't sail the world and make my fortune to splash around in a pedalo. We'll take the sailing boat. Do you know how to work it? Do I know how to work it? I'm Captain Dog. Ruff. Come on, Danny. All aboard. Full sail. Aye, aye, Captain Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We're sailing. We're canoeing. We're pedaling. <laughs> <laughs> Look, an island. We could go there for our picnic. Hooray! Oh! <laughs> the island is a bit small to have a picnic on. We can have our picnic in the boats. Who'd like a sandwich? Me, please! <laughs> Here's some bread, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Come in, boats! One, two and three! Your time is up! One, two and three! That's us! Let's see who can get back first. We'll have a race! Yes! Pedal faster, Daddy! 
I'm not sure I can pedal much faster. Oh, Daddy Pig, I'll do the pedalling. Quick on, Mummy! This is quite hard work, isn't it? Aha! We'll be carried back by the wind, Danny. Oh. What is it? The wind has stopped. Without any wind, the sailing boat cannot go. We'll just have to wait for the wind to pick up again. How long will that take? I don't know. It could be weeks. Can't we use the engine? No, oh, you don't have engines on sailing boats, Danny. Oh. The sailing boat does have an engine. Full sail! <laughs> Emily and her family are in the lead. Pedal faster, Mummy! Oh. We're going to win the race! <laughs> Here come Danny and Captain Dog. Hooray! We win! <laughs> <laughs> that was exhausting. Next time we'll take a sailing boat. Yes. Sailing boats have engines on them. Daddy? See you later, Danny. I've decided to sail around the world again. But you said you were going to stay home. Oh, yes. I'm not a sailor anymore. But I do love boating on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves boating on the lake. The fish pond. Pepper and her family are having a day out. We're going to see a pond that has little fish swimming in it. Ooh. I used to go there when I was a boy. We're here. Where's the fish pond? It's in the middle of the woods. We have to walk to it. Will we get lost like we always do? Oh, oh no. Remember, I came here when I was a little piggy. But that's a long time ago, Daddy Pig. In the olden days. Thank you, Peppa. Well, in the olden days, we started the walk by going along a path. Ah, this is the one. How do you know? There are little flowers growing here, just like I remember. Things might have changed, Daddy Pig. Oh, oh nothing changes that much. Now, we walk past some little trees until we come to a big tree. I think the little trees have grown. Oh, yes. They do all seem big, don't they? How are we going to find the right big tree? Oh, 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 it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Are we nearly at the fish pond yet? Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> of course. Ice creams for everyone. <laughs> the cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. Uh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No. If you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy! Ho, oh, oh. ho! I'll get there first. Bye! I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes, everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous! It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. Like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. 
There's a phone ringing in that bush. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on, we'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull. <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look, there's something glittering. They're coins. When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. Oh, oh, that's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> pirate treasure. Danny Dog is playing in his pirate den. <laughs> Here are Pepper and her friends. <laughs> Hello, Danny. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Do you want to play pirates? Yes. yes. Get dressed up, then. Danny Dog has a dressing-up box full of pirate clothes. Ah! My hearties. I've got a treasure chest. Ooh! It's a biscuit tin. It's a treasure chest. But it's still got biscuits in. <laughs> uh, who wants a biscuit? Me! 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 me, me. me. Now it's a treasure chest. Let's find some treasure to put in it. Hurrah! Someone has to stay here to guard the pirate ship. Me! I will guard it. If you see someone coming, shout, Stop! Who goes there? Stop! Uh, who goes there? OK, let's go find some treasure! Danny Dog likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Everyone likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Oh, jolly pirates we, that sail the deep blue sea To find a golden treasure for sale ahoy you be! <laughs> Danny has found a pine cone. Treasure! <laughs> Pepper has found a shell. Treasure! <laughs> Susie has found an old bit of rope. Treasure! <laughs> Freddy has found a pebble. Treasure! I'll just have a little sleep. Pedro mm. always takes his glasses off before he sleeps. <sighs> Let's creep up on Pedro! Yes! Danny, Pepper, Susie and Freddy are creeping up on Pedro. Boo! Oh! Ah! You were asleep! Uh. Yes, sorry. You're lucky we're friendly pirates. <laughs> We've got treasure. That's nice. Let's put it in the treasure chest. Now we can bury it. Yes. yes. And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Hurrah! <sighs> The pirates are off to bury the treasure chest over a hill, round the little bush. Let's bury it here. How will we know where we've buried it? Let's make a treasure map. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Pedro has fallen asleep again. Arr! I'm awake! I'm awake! Pedro, don't you wear glasses? Uh, hello? Mummy Pony has come to collect Pedro. Who goes there? I'm your mummy, Pedro. Pedro cannot see very well without his glasses. Where are your glasses? Um, I don't know, Mummy. When did you last have them? When we put the treasure... Into the treasure chest. What treasure chest? The one we buried in the garden. Pedro's glasses are buried in the garden.
Oh dear, how are we going to find them now? We've got a treasure map! Mummy Pony is using Peppa's map to find the buried treasure. Over the hill, round the little bush, an X marks the spot. They have found the treasure. My glasses! Hurrah! Thank you! Treasure maps are very useful. Especially for finding your glasses if you accidentally bury them. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro is late. Peppa's playgroup are going on a trip to the museum. Oh dear, Pedro Pony is not here. I bet he's still in his pyjamas. Pedro is asleep in his little bed. Pedro likes sleeping. Pedro, wake up! You'll be late for the school trip. <sighs> OK, Mummy. Come on, Pedro. We don't want to miss the bus. <sighs> the bus is still waiting for Pedro Pony. We can't wait any longer. The museum will be closed. OK, let's go. <laughs> There's no one here. Maybe we're early. No, Pedro. We've missed the bus. Oh, come on. Let's catch them up. <laughs> Pedro is always late. Look, there's a car chasing us. Oh, hello, Mrs Pony. Stop the bus! Pedro is here. <laughs> Sorry, Madame Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro. You do like sleeping. <sighs> yes, Madame Gazelle. To the museum. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. Uh, Madame Gazelle, I need the toilet. And me. And me. Me too. This is Grandad Dog's garage. <laughs> what will it be? Petrol or diesel? <laughs> Toilet, please. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like any petrol? No, we haven't gone anywhere yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, next stop, the museum. Um, where is Pedro? <laughs> petrol pumps. Interesting. Oh, come along, Pedro. Bye. I hope we get to the museum before it closes. Here is the museum. Mr Rabbit is locking up for the day. Hello, Mr Rabbit. We would like to see the museum, please. Hmm. We were just closing, but I can give you a quick tour. This is the King and Queen's room, full of old stuff. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Here are the giant dinosaurs. All very nice. Ah! Amazing! Space, rockets and all that. Wow! And through this door is the most amazing place of all. It's the fantastic world you live in. Oh! Thank you, Mr Rabbit. My pleasure. Goodbye. Right. Time to go, children. Where is Pedro? Oh, Pedro! A mollusk. Very interesting. Come on, Pedro, or you'll miss the bus. Where is everybody? The bus has gone. Uh, don't worry. Miss Rabbit will realise she's left us behind. Bong, bing, boo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo! All together now! Nobody has noticed Madame Gazelle and Pedro are missing. Oh, have you missed the bus? Mr Rabbit, I am a teacher. I need your car. Come on, Pedro. We'll take a shortcut. Hello, Dot. <laughs> Madame Gazelle and Pedro have arrived back at the playgroup. Where is the bus? We're early. Yes, Pedro. For once, you are early. Wow. Pedro is early. Yes. 
And you're late. You slow coaches. <laughs> Pedro likes being early. Everybody likes being early. George's balloon. Peppa and George have had a day out with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Ice cream! It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Let's stop for ice cream. Why not? I think we deserve it. Hello there. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Four ice creams, please. Coming right up. What flavours would you like? Strawberry for me, please. Chocolate for me, please. Banana for me, please. Dinosaur. <laughs> oh, I don't think they have dinosaur ice cream. I think George wants a dinosaur balloon. Do you not want an ice cream, George? No. Dinosaur. Oh, ho, ho. how much is the little balloon? Ten pounds. Ten pounds? It's all for a good cause. There you go, George. Hold it tight. Don't let go. George has let go of the balloon. Ah! Maybe I'll hold this very valuable balloon for the journey home. George loves his dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived back at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> hold it tight this time, George. Don't let go. Why? Oh, George! <laughs> World, there are two sorts of balloons. The up balloon and the down balloon. That is an up balloon. <laughs> if you let it go, it will go up and up and up all the way to the moon. Moon. <laughs> Grandpa! Oh! <laughs> ah, got you. <laughs> Perhaps we should go indoors before we lose your balloon, George. Your balloon will be safe in here. Hello, Polly. George has got a new balloon. Ah, oh, balloon! <laughs> Don't you pop it, Polly. George loves his balloon. <laughs> oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. The roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandpa! I can't, Pepper. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. Daddy Pig has come to take Pepper and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? Um, we bought George a dinosaur <laughs> balloon. But George let it go and it's flying to the moon. There must be some way we can get it back. Oh, balloon! Look, Polly Parrot is flying after the balloon. Polly Parrot to the rescue. Go, Polly, go! Polly Parrot has rescued George's balloon. Hooray! Who's a clever Polly? Who's a clever Polly? <laughs> <laughs> George, don't let go of your balloon again. I know. We'll tie the string to your wrist, George. What a good idea. <laughs> George loves his dinosaur balloon. Everyone loves George's dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit in space. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we have a special treat. Grumpy Rabbit is here to talk about space rockets. Rocket! 
George loves space rockets. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Grampy Rabbit has a very loud voice. What have I got here? A rock. Yes, but not any old rock. I found it on the moon. Ooh. My dad sells rocks in packs of five. Yes, thank you, Freddy. You don't need to go to the moon to get them. You do if you want moon rock. Grumpy Rabbit, how did you go to the moon? I flew in a rocket. It's a bit small. This is just a model. The rocket I went in was ginormous! Do you all know how to count to five? Yes! One, two, three, four, five! Excellent! But when you go into space, you count backwards. Five, four, three, two, one... And then you have to shout, blast off, as loudly as possible. Blast off! I can't hear anything. Blast off! Vroom! There I was, flying through space. Ooh. And then I landed on the moon. It was so beautiful up there, I was lost for words. That sounds nice. Did you know you could jump really high on the moon? Oh! How high? As high as a house! Why can you jump so high on the moon? Um. The gravitational pull is smaller on the moon. Oh, yes, that's it. They're quite the clever clogs, aren't we? Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. I was a little bit lonely up there, with just the moon and the stars. And the most exciting bit was... What's the most exciting bit, Grumpy Rabbit? I can't hear you. Why has he stopped talking? Oh dear, Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. I had better ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Dr. Brown Bear. Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. Is that such a bad thing? Yes. He's giving an important talk about space rockets to the children. Oh, in that case, I'll be straight there. <laughs> Hello, Grampy Rabbit. I hear you've lost your voice. <coughs> Say, ah, please. <coughs> I see, yes, a very serious case of losing a voice. Too much shouting, I imagine. Let's see if a little bit of medicine helps. Open wide. Try saying, ah, now. <coughs> Louder. That's better! <laughs> Not back to normal! But getting there! Hooray! Now, where was I? You were just about to tell us the most exciting bit. Oh, yes! The most exciting bit was I wrote a song. Uh, would you like to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please! I got up this morning and all I could see was the moon and the stars. The moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars. <laughs> Night animals. Pepper and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa, where are you going? It's bedtime. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm just going into the garden to collect slugs and snails. Why? Grandpa doesn't like slugs and snails because they eat his vegetables. And the best time to find them is at night with this torch. Can George and me come too? Please? <laughs> OK. Just this once. Put your coats and boots on. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their coats and boots 
over their pyjamas. You carry the bucket, Pepper, and I'll hold the torch. Don't stay out too late, Grandpa Pig. OK, okay Granny Pig. Pig. <laughs> we'll put all the slugs and snails in the bucket. Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Uh, slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night-night, chickens. Night-night, chickens. Night-night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Now, as I was saying, some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. It's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <laughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. Bye-bye, <laughs> Hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They like the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. <laughs> Can I try? OK. Bye-bye, moths. Hello, moths. Bye-bye, moths. <laughs> and if we leave the torch off, we can see another very tiny night animal. Where? Look up at the sky. Is it a shooting star? No, that is a firefly. Is it on fire? Oh, no, Peppa. It has a tummy that glows. Wow! Are there any big night animals in your garden, Grandpa? No. Oh, what's that? It's a big night animal. Oh, it's Granny Pig. <laughs> There you are. Granny, Granny, we've been saying hello to all the night animals. <laughs> Lovely. But now it's time to say good night to them. Good night, night animals. <sighs> and it's well past bedtime for you little piggies. Yes, Granny Pig. Good, good night, night, little, little ones. ones. Good night, Granny. Good night, Grandpa. Night, night. Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa's house. Pepper is watching Granny Pig at her dressing table. You smell nice, Granny. Thank you, Pepper. It's my perfume de lavender. It smells like your garden. That's because perfume is made of flowers. Hmm, Granny, I've got a very good idea. Really? Yes. First, I need some water. Here's your water. Right. Now I'm going to put flowers in it and make perfume. That's nice, dear. But only pick flowers from the grass, not from the flower bed. OK? OK. <laughs> Hello, flowers. Who wants to be in my perfume? I'm going to put you in my beaker of water. <laughs> Hello, butterfly. I'm making perfume. It's going to be the prettiest, smelliest perfume ever. <sighs> Lovely! 
Here is George. Stand back, George. I'm making perfume. Do you want to watch? <coughs> First, I pick a smelly flower. <sighs> Very flowery. Then I put it in my beaker. No, George. You can't put grass in my perfume. It needs the smell of flowers. Smell! Yuck! George does not like smelly flowers. Grandpa Pig is in his herb garden. Grandpa! Grandpa! Smell this! Pooey! It smells like pond water. It's my special perfume. I made it with flowers from the garden. Oh, yes. It's the most beautiful perfume in the world. Yes. Do you like it, George? No. George doesn't like the smell of flowers. Take this bucket, George. You can make perfume out of something else. I have got lots of lovely smelly things in my herb garden. This is rosemary. I like to use it in my cooking. Hmm, it smells interesting. <coughs> this is mint. Oh, that smells very minty. <coughs> and this is lavender. Oh, that smells like Granny Pig's perfume. <coughs> wow, that's a strong smell of lavender. Ah, Granny Pig, you smell nice. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Granny, Granny, smell this. <laughs> what is it? It's my perfume. Oh, yes. It's lovely. Has George made some perfume too? No, Granny. He doesn't like the smell of anything. There must be something you like the smell of. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. <laughs> ah, George, what have you got there? Have you made some perfume? Actually, that smells quite nice. It smells lovely. I say, that is delightful. What did you put in it, George? <laughs> George's perfume is made out of muddy puddles. <sighs> ah! Perfume the muddy puddle. Whee! <laughs> 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 Granny Pig, you smell even nicer than you did before. Yes, you should use perfume the muddy puddle more often. <laughs> <laughs> Days. Susie Sheep has come to play at Peppa's house. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> I've got something to show you. Look. What is it? It's a photograph. Who do you think it is? <gasps> it's a baby sheep. It's me. <laughs> You're not a baby. <laughs> it's an old photo. When I was a baby. Don't be silly, Susie. In the olden days, you were a baby too, Peppa. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Ask your mummy. Mummy Pig is working on the computer. <coughs> mummy. Hello, Peppa. Susie is talking nonsense. No, I'm not. She said in the olden days, I was a baby. <coughs> Well, you were Pepper. Look, here are some photos on the computer. Who do you think that is? It's Baby Alexander. Baby Alexander is Pepper's cousin. No, that's you as a baby Pepper. Baby Pepper. <laughs> Somebody sounds like they're having fun. Look, Daddy, that's a picture of me as a baby. I remember it well. It was taken on our first day in this house. What do you mean? When you were little, we moved into this house. We brought all our things on top of our car. Mummy Pig put some pictures up. 
Daddy Pig put up a shelf. And Grandpa Pig made us a lovely flower garden. Where's Grandpa's lovely flower garden now? Daddy Pig looked after it. Uh, we had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. Oh. And anyway, you needed somewhere to play. You and Susie loved to play in the garden. Was Susie my friend in the olden days? Yes, you and Susie have always been best friends. <laughs> in the olden days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Pepper. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh. What did we do? <laughs> you cried. <coughs> you burped. <laughs> and you laughed. <laughs> we were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Papa. <laughs> <laughs> goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga. <laughs> Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> George? He was a baby in my tummy. <coughs> yes, you were in my tummy, George. You've got a big tummy, Daddy. Is there a baby in there? Oh, oh no, Pepper. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> <laughs> and so George was born. <coughs> and Granny and Grandpa gave George a very special present. Can you guess what it was? Mr. Dinosaur! That's right. <laughs> and you and Susie were running and jumping around. <laughs> then one day you saw something amazing. Monkey Puggle! <laughs> Pepper, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> You loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I still do! <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a photo now. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa has always loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. 